Hi you guys, welcome back to Amber and the Truth channel. I am Amber and what I do here is expose the truth, the gospel truth that is. And today we're going to be doing another devotional, The Way Out of Escape of Temptation. 1 Corinthians 10, 12-13 says, Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. It is important for us to understand that every Christian is tempted. There is no sin or shame in being tempted. The problem comes when we give in to the temptation. Martin Luther said, you can't stop a bird from flying over your head, but you can stop him from building a nest on top of your head. We cannot keep temptation from coming. Even Jesus was tempted. The key to victory is properly responding when we are tempted. Satan came to Jesus with three specific temptations that he is still using against believers today. First, he tempted Jesus to meet a legitimate need, his hunger in an illegitimate way. Using divine power to satisfy a temporal need and a selfish purpose would have been a sin. Second, he tempted Jesus to presume on God's protection by throwing himself off the temple and asking God to rescue him from the consequences of his action. Finally, he tempted Jesus to avoid the pain and suffering of the cross by bowing down and worshiping Satan rather than worshiping God. In each temptation, Jesus responded with the word of God. He said, it is written, and quoted the Old Testament passage that opposed what Satan was asking him to do. While Jesus was able, he did not overcome Satan through divine power. Instead, he responded in a way that gives us a pattern and example to follow. Each time we are tempted, we have an opportunity to escape and avoid sin. Someone said the reason it is so hard to overcome temptation is that we don't want to discourage it completely. Instead of allowing the temptation to linger, which almost always leads to sin, eventually we should do as Jesus did and rebuke the temptation with the word of God. This makes it very important for us to be familiar with what the scripture says so that we can see through the lies of the enemy and overcome them with truth. Though we never achieve a state of sinlessness and perfection, we can have victory over any given temptation if we use the means of escape which God has promised to provide, which is also the word of God. We all been tempted every single last one of us it is never going to come the time where we will never not be tempted but it's how you respond to the temptation is how you win sometimes the temptation wins because we don't want to respond we like the temptation we give in to it satan will never tempt you with something that you don't care or don't want never so here's the thing take upon that chance when you are tempted to spout the word of god find a specific verse for a temptation that you know Satan throws at you often and watch him fully in Jesus name I want to thank you guys for listening and for watching and as always if you're new here hit that subscribe button let's watch the truth fam grow if you have anything to say put in the comments below we can continue the conversation there and as always I will see you or you will see me next time bye